Here you can see I have a bunch of flying balloons. They're all trapped under this large piece of glass here. And now let's run test and take a look, see what happened. So as soon as I run, the glass fell down on the balloons and all the balloons are trapped under the glass. But in 10 seconds, we're gonna remove the piece of glass and we're gonna see what happened. All the balloons are flying up into the air because they are flying balloons. Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Now we're gonna look at how to make a flying balloon. So remember we touched on this topic about two months ago. Roblox has announced that they're gonna allow for you to change the density of a part to 0.0001. And that would make the object lighter than air. It's gonna automatically float into the air. So according to their announcement, uh, this feature is going to be rolled out around February 26. Apparently it got delayed a little bit, but now they have finally rolled out this new feature. So let's go and take a look. So here I have two different walls. I have a red wall and the green wall. They are just regular spherical parts. Now with the green wall selected, I'm going to the properties window, check this box here where it says custom physical properties. Make sure you check that box. You get these five properties and set the density of the green ball to 0.0001 or you can just set this to zero and it will automatically set it to the, the, the lowest which is 0.0001. So if I run test right now, we would expect this ball to float up in the air while this ball is gonna drop down because this ball here is, is heavier, it's more dense than air and this one is lighter than air. So let's now run test and take a look. What's going on? They both dropped down. The green ball didn't fly up in the air like I expected it. And the reason for that is there is one other step that we needed to do. So now we're gonna go to the file, click on beta features. We have to turn on the aerodynamics beta feature. Check that box, click save, restart, save the changes. All right, so now we're back inside studio and let's run tests again, see if it's gonna work now. I'm gonna go here and run. Still doesn't work because there is one other step that we needed to do here. I'm now gonna select the workspace and I'm gonna go to the properties window. I'm gonna look for a property called fluid forces. The default is default. I'm gonna select that and change it to experimental. Going back to the green part one more time, make sure you check the density of the part, make sure it's still 0.0001. And now let's run test and take a look. Boom, it flew away, it disappeared. Now that went up way too fast. What I wanna do is I, I prefer for the balloon to be floating in the air or maybe going up a little bit slower, just like a flying helium balloon. To do that, I want to know what is the density of air. To get the density of air, I'm gonna print out the physical properties of air. And let's see what it is. So this here, the first parameter here, that's the density of air. So that, that is about the same as 0.01. So why don't we go here back to the green ball and I'm gonna make this balloon a little bit lighter than air so that it floats in the air and it maybe it goes up a little bit but not so fast. So now we're going back to the properties of the green ball. We're gonna change its density to 0.01 and let's run test and take a look. It's still forced down just like a brick. So it needs to be lighter than that. After playing around with the density of the green ball for a little bit, I have come up with the perfect density for the part to be floating in the air. And that is with the density of 0.0012. Let us now play test and take a look. So there you can see the red ball has fallen down and I'm gonna go and push the green ball. It moves a little bit less than I expected that a, a flying balloon would move, but it does move a little bit.
even when I'm standing on it, it doesn't move that much. But you can see it does move a little bit when I hit it. Anyway, so that is our flying balloon. You can see I'm hitting it and it's moving a little bit, not by a lot. There we go. Let me see if I can go and kick it. I'm kicking it and it just stays on the ground. It doesn't fly up. Now I want to try one more thing here. I want to go to the workspace, click on the workspace and we're going to look for a property called global wind and let's add some wind to this and see what happens. So we're going to add maybe, I don't know how much to add. So I'm just going to put in 100 in every direction and see what's going to happen. Because this thing here is floating in mid air. So all we need is a little bit of wind and it should push it, make it fly away, right? So let's take a look. We're just gonna run test and take a look. Whoa, that flew away fast. All right, that was a little bit too fast. So we're gonna slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna change this to maybe just two in the X and Z axis and zero for the Y axis. Let's see what happened. Oh, there it goes, slowly. So it, it is being pushed by the wind, slowly. Let's play test and take a look. And there is my flying balloon. It is floating in the wind. You know, one more thing I want to do is, let's see, go back to the green balloon and I want to change something else. Custom physical properties. Oh, all, all these weight are zero already. What, what about the mass? How about if I change the mass? I want to check this box here for massless. Let's see what happened there. Okay, so my ball now has no mass. And let's see. Oh, it moves easier now. Look at that. That is much better. That, that is much more like a flying balloon. What I want to do now is I'm going to go to my toolbox. I'm going to search for a mesh balloon. A balloon mesh, okay. Copy mesh ID. And I'm going to go back to, back to the workspace. I'm going to add a mesh part. Okay, so here's my mesh part. We're gonna paste in the mesh ID. Okay, so there's my balloon. I want to scale this. We're gonna go and change its custom physical properties. Check that box, expand it. The density is 0.0012. And why don't I just leave everything alone and I'm going to check massless here and let's take a look. So there is the yellow balloon. It's flying because the wind is blowing it. And I want to hit it. <laughs> it's stuck. Oh. So here you can see I have a bunch of balloons and to make them even more realistic, I'm adding some elasticity and elasticity weight to those balloons. And now let's play test and take a look. So the balloons have escaped the cover, the glass cover. And there you have it. Those are 
the flying balloons. There is a low wind, there's a low global wind in here, so that's why all the balloons are flowing, flying in the same direction. Because the wind is blowing to the right. Hope you have enjoyed the video and we will see you again in our next tutorial. Take care everyone, peace.